this is Jeffrey T. Fertiller back with another service management leadership video. Today's topic is on change management and it's one that I've seen up close and personal play out. And so bear with me if you have not seen this, you will shortly in your career. But also it's an encouragement to you leaders not to fall into this trap. So it is my belief, and I think this is strongly held among most IT and ITSM leaders, that leadership needs to stop unauthorized changes in a, I would say bipartisan if it's political, but in a non-threatening way. Change management is not a place to play favorites and let special groups get their changes through, even if it hurts the business. And we've all, I don't want to say we've all, I don't want to project, but I've seen it happen way too many times. But the converse is true as well. Change management isn't a place for leaders to go after, to punish groups that they don't like. Sadly, I've seen this up close and personal, and I don't like it. Nobody likes uh, fake punishment or punishment under a false pretense, and I don't either. And change management is often used as that mechanism, and I don't, it, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth, and hopefully it does yours as well. And so this is an encouragement for all of you IT leaders is to support your IT service management processes, including change management. Stop all the unauthorized changes because those unauthorized changes introduce risk to your environment that you don't know. They're not in your tool, you don't know the impact, and I have a lot of stories on those and I'll share in later videos. But this is just a time to level set and say, unauthorized changes are one of the, mo the biggest risks to your environment. From a security, from a risk, from a process, biggest risk to your, your business stakeholders, and you as an IT leader need to figure out a way to encourage those to uh, stop. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel. Please like or share the video. Subscribe to our channel. Feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. I'd love to hear from you if you have any feedback. And I hope you have a great, great day.